One of the things that desktop Linux users love to do is they love to rice their desktop, right? We love to customize our desktop and add a little bling to it, add a little color, add a little ASCII art. And one of the most common things we do is we pimp out our terminal, right? We add some ASCII art to our terminal. So in our bash RC or ZSHRC or our fish config, you know, we make sure that every time we open a terminal, you know, some kind of ASCII art loads up, such as my random shell color scripts loads up in my terminal. But what many people do is they have a program called NeoFetch that loads up every time they launch a terminal. This is NeoFetch here, one of the more common fetching style programs out there that people install in their terminal. Well, the other day I came across a new fetching program called FetchMaster 6000, and it is a really Really cool alternative to NeoFetch. So if you want to check out the source code for FetchMaster 6000, it is hosted over at GitHub and all it is, it's a simple Perl script. And if I open it, it is 316 lines long, the Perl script. Uh, so it's very easy to go and check out the source code, edit the source codes, uh, change it to your needs. Uh, by comparison, for those that want a comparison between this 316 line as Perl script, Compare that to NeoFetch, the NeoFetch program, which is a shell script, it's actually a bash script, and it is 10,958 lines of bash in Neo. Like this is a gigantic script. Oh my goodness, my browser is even having trouble scrolling so fast because there's so many so many lines of code there for NeoFetch. So the good thing about FetchMaster 6000, it is uh, uh, very easy to wrap your head around if you want to go play with the code. And uh, in action here, this is some screenshots of what FetchMaster 6000 is. It's basically these ASCII art characters. I believe they are called Dilbert, Wally, Alice, and Dogbert. There's a dog character too. And you can customize FetchMaster 6000 to display whichever character you like. You can also customize the uh, information box here. You know, what information do you actually want it to display? So let me go ahead and get this installed and I will show you this in action. The uh, easiest way to install it is through either wget or curl. So you're just basically downloading this Perl script from the internet just download it and I, I'm just going to use curl so I'm going to copy that curl command and then let me get over to my desktop I'm going to uh, open a terminal paste that curl command and we've downloaded that the next thing we need to do is fm6000.pl was the name of the file and there it is fm6000 and we need to make sure that it's executable so you need to do a chmod plus X for executable. And then the file that we want to make executable is FM 6000. And then once that is executable, now I can execute FM 6000. Uh, I executed FM 600, FM 6000, and there it is in action. You can see OS is Arco Linux, although it looks like it's adding an extra uh, double quote at the end so that's probably an error in the Perl script itself but because the Perl script is only 316 lines I can go in and find where that extra quote is and correct that myself if I wanted to we also have our kernel version our desktop environment which is really the xmonad window manager our shell which I'm currently using the fish shell our uptime and how many packages are currently installed on the system so this is the default information now we can actually give fm6000 various flags and options if we wanted to customize this a little bit. So let me clear the screen. I'm going to go back over here to the GitHub page and you see available options and we have options for dash H for help, dash C for color. Well, let's start with the uh, dash C flag. So if I did uh, FM 6000 one more time dash C for color and let's specify a color and this is the base color so I guess it's the prominent the most prominent color probably the ASCII art character color so let's see if we can specify magenta yeah and now our character is magenta and if we changed it to green I'd have to spell green correctly <laughs> there we go and specify the color as red all right so let's keep going with this what else could I do I could add the dash W flag that specifies that the character should be Wally instead of uh, Dilbert who is the default character and there is Wally and what else could I do I could specify the Dogbert character instead of Wally it looks like we can also specify our OS so dash O and then name of OS I guess if uh, the 
Fetchmaster script can't detect your OS, you can specify it. In our case, it does detect that we're on Arco, but it does add that annoying double quote. So I can correct that right here. I can just specify Arco Linux without a double quote. And that corrected that problem. We can also give it a dash n flag for not a desktop environment, which means Xmonad, instead of being listed as a desktop environment, I think will now be listed as a window manager. So, uh, so you do have a number of flags and options available here. We can also play with the spacing. I see we have uh, available flags for margins, gaps, and length. Uh, let's go ahead and play with that while we're at it. Now, so let's do dash M for margin. We'll do a margin of eight. Dash G for gaps. We'll do gaps eight as well. And then dash L, the length has to be at a, a, a number greater than 14. So it's got to be a minimum of 15. I, I So this size here, I guess, is 15. Let's make it even wider, 25. And that's with the gaps and the margins that we specified. And for those of you that wanted to add Fetchmaster 6000 to where every time you open a terminal, you automatically get this displayed so you don't actually run it, have to run it yourself. What I would do is, you know, once you get all the flags and options you want, I would copy that. And then let me open up a new terminal. I'm going to get into my uh, bash RC, for instance, here. And I'm going to go to the very last line of my bash RC because somewhere in here I have my shell color scripts right here. Color script random, that is running my shell color scripts every time that I launch a terminal. And instead, what I want to do is I want to run the FM6000 script. So let me write that and quit out of that. And now let me get to a bash shell. And you see, Every time I open a terminal where bash is loaded in the terminal, I will for, forevermore get the Fetchmaster 6000 script. So pretty cool program. Now, is, is this a, a, a better alternative to NeoFetch? I mean, you guys will have to make your own call on that. I do like the fact that it's very simple, very minimal, very clean. For me, NeoFetch has always had a little bit too much going on with it. And the fact that that NeoFetch script now is pushing like 11, 12,000 lines long of bash script. You know, the fact that the fetch master tool is only 300 lines of Perl, I think that is a positive. The only downsides I see with the fetch master 6000 tool is the fact that you know, the only way to install it really is to just download it from the internet using something like wget or curl, or you could just do a git clone. Uh, it's not packaged in anybody's repositories yet. I think it's a very new project. I'm assuming it's a very new project because is the fact that there isn't any kind of license. So one of the things I like, of course, is to use free and open source software where possible. So I hope the person behind Fetchmaster 6000 actually adds a license to this GitHub repository soon. And of course, it needs to be one of the free licenses. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show. FC, Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Arch5030, Chuck, David, the other David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Stevens, Vin, Wes, and Willie. They are the producers of the show. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This episode about Fetchmaster 6000, it would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel is sponsored by you guys. The community, without you, I couldn't do what I do. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace. I didn't realize NeoFetch was so bloated.